Hello Gate Aspirants, welcome to Gate Chemical Solution channel. This is one more fluid mechanics question in the year 2020 Gate question paper. Please read the question very carefully and identify what is given and what we have to find out. So we will see the concept for this problem. Then we will go for the problem solution. If you are well aware of the concept, you can skip the concept explanation part and directly you can go for the problem solution. Okay. So this problem is related to boundary layer formation and fluid flow in a boundary layer over a flat plate. In the previous problems, I have problem I have discussed the boundary layer formation in the tubes. So this problem is related to the boundary layer formation over a flat plate and how the flow in the boundary layer we will see okay so actually the boundary layer is defined as the part of the moving fluid in which the fluid motion is influenced by the presence of the solid boundary here the solid is the flat plate okay consider a free stream of fluid flowing over a flat plate the flow of the this fluid is parallel to the flat surface okay flat plate surface velocity of the entire entire free stream is uniform that is u infinity okay so this is in the upstream so once it is entering over the flat uh, flat plate what happens the velocity is varying at the solid boundary the velocity is zero so it is moving towards uh, a bulk fluid stream the velocity is increasing so we can clearly observe here here the velocity is zero and it is gradually increasing up to this point and again from this point to this point the uh, entire fluid stream will having the same uniform velocity as the fluid entering that is u infinity so if you move further towards uh, over the flat plate what happens from this point to uh, from this point to this point the velocity of the fluid is varying from zero to certain value gradually increasing from this point onwards the fluid again moving in the same velocity of the free stream velocity so either at the location uh, c at the location c double frame prime here also zero at the solid boundary solid fluid inter interface and gradually increasing if you reach at this point it is almost 99 percent of the free stream velocity that is bulk fluid velocity this is this is the bulk fluid if you observe the the line ol, ol indicates the boundary layer so here the thickness of the boundary layer is gradually increasing from the leading edge of the plate this is the leading edge of the plate so if you move distance from the leading edge the distance is indicated by x if you move from the leading edge of the plate the boundary layer thickness is gradually increasing okay so once it reaches at this point the complete velocity profile distribution is formed okay it is almost 99 percent of the free stream velocity here at this point it is almost 99 percent of the free stream velocity this imaginary line separates the fluid that is aff affected by the presence of the solid boundary and the fluid that is not affected by the solid so this is the fluid fluid of free stream that is not affected by the solid boundary only this portion of the fluid is affected by the presence of solid boundary so this is called as the boundary la boundary layer so that if you see the this line ol the boundary layer thickness thickness this is zx indicates the thickness of the boundary layer at, sub, at the point c the thickness is zx at the point c prime it is zx prime so if you see gradually it is increasing if you go further again it is increasing but at one part if you reach this beyond this point the thickness will be constant so even the further going over the fla flat fla plate the thickness is does not changing so it means completely velocity is distributed so this is the point where 99 percent of the fluid is moving the free stream velocity so it is a 99 percent point okay so if we move up to little bit it may be either maybe 100 percent so beyond that the zx is not changing okay here so the same diagram is uh, represented here in this we will see this is a laminar and turbulent flow in boundary layer of a flat plate we will see how the uh, flows are varying in the boundary layer so in this diagram this is the 
boundary layer lie n distance from the leading edge of the plate x so this y axis is the boundary layer thickness so fluid velocity in the solid fluid interface is zero okay but the velocity is near the solid surface will be very low most of the cases the velocity in this region the flow is be laminar okay most of the cases uh, the flow in this region should be laminar certain cases what happens once the turbulence will be starting there is a chance to the eddies what are the eddies are there they 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 may move towards the surface of the solid and it becomes the turbulent zone okay so most of the cases before the onset of the turbulence definitely this will be a laminar flow so let's see here the onset of the turbulence the first turbulence may be appearing at this region so what happens so the turb the let's say the eddies are forming so if the eddies are moving towards this uh, towards the surface of the solid so this is also becoming as a turbulent uh, turbulent zone so that's why this complete uh, the, this is an, this is nothing but transition region since here at the here the the onset of turbulence takes place means so it will take certain time or certain region to complete conversion of the turbulent region so this is nothing but the transition zone okay from laminar to turbulence here this is this region is completely turbulent only here even though the velocity is uh, uh, away from the solid surface are a little bit higher than but not more than the this is the free stream region right so this fluid is not affected by the presence of the solid boundary okay so uh, this again this complete sub turbulent region will be categorized into uh, uh, this is complete uh, turbulent boundary layer region is will be uh, taken as three zones the first the very near layer to the uh, solid surface is a viscous sub layer and the buffer layer or transition layer from uh, what is called laminar to turbulent is called a buffer layer and this completely fully de developed turbulent region okay clear when the flow in the boundary layer is laminar the thickness of the boundary layer zs increases with the with the x as x power 0.5 it means is seen in the figure so i will show that one so if you look at this diagram so this is the laminar region here the zx zx is the thickness of the boundary layer this is a boundary layer this so this distance is the thickness of the boundary layer in this laminar region the zx is varying with leading edge of the plate this is the leading edge this is the distance from the leading edge of the plate is x so it varies with zx as x power 0.5 in the laminar region once the uh, after short term of formation of the turbulence setting the turbulence what happens zx is increasing x power 1.5 see if you observe this one so here it is it is it is a starting point of the turbulence after short time of the sh short time of the starting point of the turbulence the thickness of the boundary layer is rapidly increasing if you observe in the diagram clearly it is visible okay that is 1.5 power of x okay x power 1.5 if you observe after once a completely the turbulent will be completely developed in such case zx will be varying as x power 0.8 so once it reaches the variation will be very less that is in the in terms of x power 0.8 so x is the distance from the leading edge of the plate clear okay so after turbulence is fully developed x is increases with x power 0.8 in the shaft at a short time of the turbulence appearance zx increases with x power 1.5 so in the laminar region it is increasing with x power 0.5 okay clear so we will see transition from laminar to turbulent flow so we can characterize this laminar turbulent flow based on the reynolds number right so the factors determines the point at which turbulence appears in a laminar boundary layer are coordinated by the dimensionless number that is reynolds number all of you know that one so that is indicated re x equal to x u naught rho divided by mu here x is the distance from the leading edge of the plate u infinity is free stream velocity or bulk fluid velocity density of the fluid viscosity of the fluid okay so if we calculate once reynolds number we can identify whether where uh, laminar and turbulent and 
transition so when the fluid is moving parallel to the flat plate okay the turbulent flow first appears at a critical reynolds number between 10 to the power of 5 5 and 5 to 3 to 10 to the power of 6 in this region in this reynolds number region the transition appears from laminar to turbulent okay so beyond this reynolds number completely it is a turbulent so below this reynolds number it is a laminar so this is a turbulent this is a transition region for fluid is moving parallel to the plate okay clear so whenever the transition occurs at very low reynolds number when the plate is very rough so if at all the plate is very rough so this is not uh, smooth plate or this is not rough plate this relation is given for uh, normal plate okay it is not too smooth and not too rough okay it is normal plate in that case the transition occurs from 10 to the power of reynolds number about 10 to the power of 5 to 10 to 10 to the power of 6 in this region the transition occurs from laminar to turbulent okay so if at all the transition occurs at the lower reynolds number when the plate is rough and the plate is very rough the transition occurs below the uh, below this reynolds number even less than the reynolds number of 10 to the power of 5 itself the transition occurs okay so when the in that case the intensity towards the turbulence will be even higher okay when the plate is smooth the rex is higher value for transition and the intensity of turbulence in the approaching stream is very low so if at all the plate is very smooth the transition may occurs beyond this value not only in this region it may occurs beyond this value and the approaching towards the turbulence will be is very low okay so this is the concept for this uh, problem we will see the problem solution now in the problem it is mentioned that incompressible flow of constant property fluid over a smooth thin and wide flat plate free stream flow parallel to the surface surface and velocity is constant so that is free stream velocity will be constant right so nr at a distance of 2 meters from the leading edge of the plate is 8000 so at a distance 2 meters from the leading edge the flow within the boundary layer at a distance of 1 meter from the leading edge of the plate is so here the reynolds number is 8000 okay from this is 2 meters right from at this point from 1 meter from the leading edge what is the what is the type of the fluid flow whether it is laminar or turbulent or transition okay that's what they have asked so they have for recalling the concept i have written the expression reynolds number equal to x into free stream velocity into density of the fluid divided by mu distance from the leading edge of the plate to free stream velocity or bulk fluid velocity density of the fluid viscosity of the fluid okay so when the flow is flow is parallel to the smooth flat surface the first turbulence appears at a critical reynolds number between 10 to the power of 5 to 3 into 10 to the power of 6 in this region the transition occurs so they have given at a 2 meter distance from the leading edge the reynolds number is 8000 okay so this is the 2 meters let's say already here 8 is the reynolds number at 2 meter distance from the leading edge so at 1 meter already it is in the region of laminar as per this uh, value right okay again below this one is obviously it is a laminar flow only clear i hope you have understand the concept and the problem if you like the video share and subscribe thank you